So uh, to your first point, absolutely, you can go identify it, right? Like humans are very rarely admit that they're biased, right? So it's always hard to like tease that out. With AI systems, you can run these tests and uh, evaluate the output and, and see what's going on there, right? So um, it's, and it's easy to run those tests and uh, that's what we do. And that's where we started, right? Um, and you can do that for machine learning algorithms or for LLMs. It, it's not so hard. Fixing it is a little hard, right? Especially for classical machine learning models, predictive models, which is what pr people might have heard of. Any kind of uh, machine learning model that does predictions like hiring predictions, uh, ranking candidates and, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, fixing it is a little bit harder there. But in the LLM space, or, which we're talking about with kind of these open AI and DeepSeek and Claude and all these other things, this is something we're working on, different, taking different approaches, using fine tuning, prompt engineering, redaction to see, you know, how do we fix this, right? So um, again, uh, AI doesn't automatically fix bias, right? AI can be biased, humans can be biased. Humans can be biased and not biased, AI can be not biased, right? Like it's not naturally one or the other, but what you can do with AI systems is you can go and monitor it better 